The new LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is one of the most hyped for Star Wars video games. Announced in 2019, it will be the 6th LEGO Star Wars video game to come out with a release date of 2020. In celebration for this upcoming game and my own personal excitement for it, I'm going to show you how to make your own LEGO icon featuring characters that, you know, I would also like to maybe see in the new game when it comes out. Don't forget guys, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We're going to be getting straight into this now. Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make the LEGO profile picture now. Uh, we're going to be using Photoshop. So open up the picture that I've put in the uh, channel description. Make sure you've got that downloaded. Then import the character that you would like to have. Uh, the first one I'm going to be doing is Temple Guard. We're then going to drag Temple Guard into this. We're going to throw him down there. We're going to size him up a little bit. Now the size obviously we need to make sure is kind of realistic to that of what was in the LEGO games. But you can more or less do kind of whatever size you want for this. Just, you know, do something until... It feels right. I'm going to put him about... Yeah, I think... Yeah, I'll put him I'll put him around there. Yeah, we're going to leave him around that point. Okay, uh, so then confirm that. Now, the next bit, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, cut him up a little bit, just so we don't have this. Now, the way I've done this... Oh, there are different ways to do it. Uh, I've lowered the opacity, and I'm now going to select all the parts that, uh, you know, are going out of, the, out of the little icon. Um, I've actually realised I've done that wrong. You need to do it from the black bit. Uh, so make sure these are also on two separate layers and then you can just simply cut around him like this uh, Make sure you don't go down like I just did. There we go. Oh, no, I've gone down again. Okay. No, never mind Don't worry. Don't worry. It's fine. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna do about that. Perfect All right, and then we're just gonna quickly just select all that. That doesn't really need to be as careful going back up Okay, and then we're gonna select that and then what we just do is we're gonna hit the delete button on our keyboard Okay, and then you're gonna want to get the eraser tool and just make sure that no parts are uh well, I will cut this bit out actually quickly. But you, what you want to do is you want to make sure that nothing is out of the icon. You just want whatever's... What, what, you just want the bit inside the blue, but you don't want anything else. So we can see there's a little bit at the bottom. So we're going to just quickly rub all that out. I'm going to up the rubber size a little bit because my tiny... There we go. Okay, so we're just going to rub that out. Okay, I'm now going to do this for uh, a few more ones. But yeah, there we go. We've got our first one. We've got Temple Guard. Uh, we're going to just quickly... There we go. Right, so... um. Yeah, so that is our first profile picture. We're just going to call it profile picture. Don't forget to save. Saving is always important. Save your workers. Otherwise, it may crash. Right, we're going to import another character into this now. Let's do uh, let's do Baby Yoda next. So it's more or less the same steps. We're going to go ahead. We're going to throw him in there. We're going to need to resize him a little bit. Now, Baby Yoda, he's a bit of a small character. Just kind of emphasize that. We're going to make him a little bit smaller in the blue bit. Not as big as the uh, Temple Guard character. Gonna make him not too much smaller. We just want it a little bit smaller, I think. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna call that about right. We're gonna call that about right. We wanna we want people to know that he's baby Yoda and not normal size Yoda. Okay. So same thing. Just make sure you uh don't go beyond the black bit yet. There we go. We're gonna quickly just snaggle that around there. Go to normal. Okay. And then delete. There we go. Okay. Gonna up the opacity now. There'll be some bits left that we still need to get rid of. Uh, so you just grab the rubber tool, rub that out, and there we go. We got Baby Yoda. Easy. It is a, it is a really good way of doing this. There, are, there is another way to do it, which I'm also going to show you guys how to do. Okay, so what would you want to do now is you want to make sure that all of these are on separate layers. You can just use the cutting tool to do this. Just make sure all three of these are all on separate layers. And then this way it will be easier, much easier to mass produce characters. So we're going to go, we've got a Mandalorian, we're going to throw him in there. Now, obviously, we don't have to do any of the cutting this time. Because we can just drag and drop him into any position that we want. And boom, there we go. So now we, there's no need to do any rubbing or cutting or anything. We can just throw him in there, position it. Now this is a much easier one if you want to do multiple characters. Uh, it takes a little bit more work because you have to cut the circle. But if you want to throw multi multiple characters in here, this is definitely the easier way to do it. So just grab whatever character you want. And then look, we can do the same with these two. You can instantly just throw anyone in there. It makes it much easier to, you know get multiple characters done in one go okay so we're also gonna let's go ahead and throw another one in there let's uh okay so let's say for this one you want to cut out the background because obviously some lego profile pictures if you get them from like google or somewhere they're gonna have like this one's got a background so say we just wanted the character uh go to the cut tool i always use the uh lasso one the magnetic lasso you want to select the whole character like so Okay, and we're just going to finish off. Okay, and then it's from that point, it's really easy. I just do Control c and Control v And then I just, again, drag and drop him in there. 
And boom, now he hasn't got a background. Now look, we've got our own custom-made shocked Obi-Wan character. I think he looks absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that's a much easier way to do it. And then we can just do whatever character we want. So we've got Baby Yoda, Mandalorian, Jedi Temple Garden. You know, whatever character you want to do. So, you know, could be anyone or anything. Anyway, I hope this tutorial helped since, you know, a lot of people seem to be asking me right now on how to do this. So here you go. Hope, I, hope, I hope it helped. And uh, yeah, we're going to go back into giving a little bit more information about the game now. My favourite 10 characters I think we've seen so far in LEGO games definitely has to come from LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. Rebel Friend has always been one of my favourites. He's by far the most underrated character in the entire LEGO series. In ninth place, we've got Admiral Akbar. I mean, he's just an absolute legend and can never, never be replaced. In eighth place, Coyote Mundy. I mean, he's he's a, he's a brick. N nothing more needs to be said. He's 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 a brick. In seventh place, Plo Koon. Again, he's Plo Koon. I mean, does anything more need to be said? It's, I mean, it's just Plo Koon. In sixth place is Clone Trooper Jedi disguise. His disguise is so beautiful. I actually thought he was a Jedi in the game. Like, it took me off guard when I first played the game because, you know, they all turn around, they turn at Clone Trooper. It's like, what? It's definitely a huge plot twist. In fifth place, we've got Jabba's Pirate. You just, you can't ask for a better high gun to protect you from, from Rebel Scum. He is the absolute best pirate bodyguard person that you could ever hope for. Just, again, completely outstanding. Outstanding performance. In fourth place, Attack of the Clones Obi-Wan. Again, another absolute beautiful legend. And, I mean, amazing hair. Like, full on. Uh, just amazing hair. In third place, Gong Droid. I, I don't know where the game would be without him, and I don't know where Star Wars would be without him. He's just... Uh, he's so significant to the whole thing. I think he's brilliant. In second place, we've got Dexter. If you ever need to know anything about the galaxy, Dexter is your guy. He's 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 just he's so knowledgeable. Just, yeah, so knowledgeable. I aspire to be him one day. In first place, and my personal favorite, C3PO. C3PO is the true hero of the Skywalker saga. Without him, who would have carried Padme's body back to the ship during Anakin and Obi-Wan's duel? Without him, Luke would have never bought R2. And obviously, without R2 being born, he would have never made it to Yavin 4. The Death Star plans would be lost forever. The Rebels would have been defeated and the Empire would reign supreme. He even helped convince the Ewoks not to eat everyone. So, you know, again, just saying. And then what about the knife with the location of the Wayfinder? You know, C-3PO was ready to sacrifice himself so that the Resistance could find the Sith Wayfinder to defeat Palpatine. If C-3PO wasn't there, they would never have found it and Palpatine would have wiped everyone out. Um, however, he was there for all of it, uh, through thick and thin, and I think that makes him the true hero of the Star, Star Wars Skywalker Saga. LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga has a release date of 2020 and will be released for Windows, PS4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. Like The Force Awakens, it will be an open world hub. However, unlike the previous ones, players can choose to start the game from any of the Skywalker Saga's episodes and complete them in any order. Each episode will have its own hub filled with planets and can be visited and explored. Each episode will also have five story missions, totaling in 45 levels. So far, no DLCs have been announced, but it might be fun to see DLCs for Rogue One, Rebels, Clone Wars, if those aren't included in the base game. Random encounters will also happen in the hub, such as the player might be flying towards a planet to go to the next story level when a Star Destroyer jumps out of hyperspace and sends a fleet of TIE fighters towards the player. Players can either engage or continue onward with the story. Obviously, we can expect every Star Wars character ever to be in this. However, we already have had some confirmed characters and first looks at some characters. These include Boba Fett, R2-D2, Lando, Mace Windu, Anakin, Jango Fett, Yoda, Palpatine, Vader, Obi-Wan, Old and Padawan, Qui-Gon, Kylo Ren, Rey, Luke and Leia. Again, these are the characters we've just had the first looks at, but you can expect way more characters to be in the game. For now, though, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.